Okay, maybe now it'll work. Tell you guys, YouTube's new version of streaming is one of the worst things I've ever seen. It doesn't work at all. I was in that lobby for five minutes and it's like, oh, you need some kind of streaming encoding key. Even though my Elgato's already... What? What trophy? How did I get that? So that's a late pop from yesterday, then. Yeah, because I have 6,400 points, so... That's weird. That is a late pop. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. I will not complain about that. Hi, Derek. It's just, it's absolutely ridiculous that it, this streaming thing, it doesn't even work. The new version of it. The old version's decent enough. It's at least usable. But the new version, it's literally like, oh, you gotta go through all these hoops, and then before you're allowed to stream on our service, you need to put in some kind of encoding key, which it doesn't tell you how to do that for a game capture card. Which also makes no sense, because the capture card is already connected to YouTube, or else I wouldn't be streaming right now. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand how YouTube finds that acceptable. This new, the whole new YouTube studio thing is also ten times worse than the old creator studio ever could be. It makes everything less convenient and harder to find. I apologize if you hear any background noise for a while. My, uh... Not my washing machine this time, it's my, uh, my, uh, dishwasher. Because I just actually did the latest Fallout food video today, just recorded it. It was a bit of a messy one, so quite a few dishes. Quite a few pots and pans and stuff to watch. Wash, not watch. Conan Exiles, yep, uh, I need to go ahead and download that later. I need to download that, and I need to download, uh, The Surge. I might try The Surge because it's not quite, like, to the level of Dark Souls or anything. But it's a Souls-type game. So I'm actually, uh, I actually might try that I one out. The original signal to a nearby cave. Let's check it out. I know I'll do Conan eventually. It's gonna be like a common platinum by the time this month is over. If it isn't already. I mean, not a lot of people played it before now just because it was so overpriced. It was like 40 bucks or something. No one no one wanted to pay that much for a pretty subpar game and it never seemed to drop in price. Oh, okay. Well, we got something going on here. So we're going after the Mindbender. I'm assuming, yep, you're immune, so... Oh, but I can... What did I... Why is it doing... What am I doing, damn it? Oh, that thing. I didn't even see that. I didn't even realize that was there. Yeah, working on a bit of Destiny 2 today. Before I'm gone all next week. But I'll record some vlogs while I'm gone, so... I'll make some videos. Yeah, that's weird that they would put an online trophy in that game. Another amplifier. Seems just a little odd. I need a minute to triangulate the signal's origin. Oh, the explodey guys. Suicide bomber type guys. 
Oh, that's good. That sounds like the, wa the washer just finished. Dishwasher just finished. Good. So for a future game I want to do on streams uh, that I might grind out at some point in the future is uh, Dead Alliance. I kind of forgot about about it until recently. It is a pretty easy platinum, but it's kind of time consuming. It's like a zombie killing game, pretty much, and you can do everything against bots, which makes it a lot easier. Oh, oh, I see something up here. Lost sector chest, maybe. Ah, oh, new gear and a level up. Awesome, level 45. Only a few more levels to go. Wonder if they'll increase the level cap again when uh, year three comes out. Whatever year three ends up being. I know we got a long way until that happens, though. Well, I went up like 50 power yesterday playing this game, so that's kind of awesome. And there's still a couple of story-related trophies in this DLC that I can get, so that's good. You know, I'll get at least half of it done without a whole lot of trouble. It's the second half that's going to be more of an issue. Between the raid, the triumph seal, the collections badge. The exotics, which is really just time-consuming. And I know I'm missing, like, one other trophy I'm forgetting. I don't know which one, though. I need to go look back at the list when I get a chance. You at least don't have to do the prestige version of the Last Wish Raid. You only have to do the regular one. I don't know how hard the regular one is. But I can't imagine that it's any harder than the prestige version of Leviathan. I mean, I would assume it might be a little bit harder just because you can't be as overpowered for it as you could for Leviathan. This one has a safeguard. All right, defend the area. Yeah, guys, I will not be doing any sort of streaming next week. But I will record some vlogs for upload when I get back, and there will be videos that go up while I'm gone. I've got a few scheduled. So I'm excited. Should be a lot of fun. Spend some time with family, too, but especially just on vacation. Oh, okay, that thing was, like, sucking me in. And once I get back, I'll definitely continue on with the Fallout 3 all-skills run that I started on a week ago. Actually, definitely excited to do that some more. Because it was fun for those first couple hours, and then the game crashed. That's the last and the sad thing is, when I did the Let's Play of the game years ago, it didn't crash until, like, part 80-something in the Let's Play, and I beat, like, all of three of the DLCs with no problems. I mean, yeah, there was lag and stuff, but that was about it. And now it's already crashed after three hours. So that that's not a good sign for the future. Alright, so where do we have to go? Up there. And since I fell down, it's going to be a bit more of a problem to get to. I do enjoy live streaming a lot, though. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's been very good for the channel, too, so I can't complain. Now, if only... Whoa! Okay, what did he just do? I did not know they could do that. Okay, note to self, they have an attack I didn't know about. Gotta be a little more careful. And it felt pity, so it spawned me all the way back up on top. So they can, like, go into the ground, Splatoon-style, and dig up under me. 
That's actually a bit scary. This guy's file says he's obsessed with creating his own throne world. A pocket dimension in the Hive's Ascendant plane. When the Again, I will say, screw the new version of YouTube streaming. It's terrible. It doesn't even work. Like, what do you want me to do with your encryption code if I already have a game capture card? Like, why can't it just work off of the capture card like it has for years? And what do I even, where do I even plug in your stupid encryption code? And again, why does it even exist? So, terrible, terrible uh, change for YouTube. This latest round of changes has been just absolutely awful. Between that and the YouTube studio changes. And I don't even understand why they do it. Like, what purpose is it serving? Well, I mean, why do you keep trying to fix things that are not necessarily broken? I mean, they are kind of broken, but not as severely broken as they as they act like. Because the old version of streaming and the old, uh... And exploding spider things. Like, the old version of streaming and the old version of uh, Creator Studio or whatever was decent enough. It was at least tolerable. But these new changes are just so bad. Like, they, I don't see any possible benefit out of them. Does it help with, like, their high-level high, high level channels or something? Make them more money? I know that it was uh, it's McJuggernuggets that's doing it. They, like, him and some other guy created some other kind of video and maybe not streaming, but mostly video service. I really need to check... I would check it out, but I think it's more focused around, like, making narratives and stories and stuff rather than, like, straight-up gaming content. Which I guess if I really, really wanted to take this more seriously, there's always Twitch. As a gamer, Twitch is going to be noticeably better. I don't know, maybe someday. I don't necessarily have the time or the effort or anything to do it right now in life. Eventually, though, it will be something that would be a lot of fun to do. Is that him? Oh, I think... Are we at the end? Well, it's not a it's not a new respawn zone though, so that's kind of weird. Uh, if this is him, then that's kind of nice. If it's a re if you can respawn. Stay on. Aha! Uh -huh, yep, didn't think so. That would have been too easy. So yeah, I was about to say like it's always a no respawn zone, so that would have been kind of really really weird. Oh, more Killzone 2 discussions. How did the Mindbender get a throne? Ah, now it's activated. Oh, Cade. The glitch... No, it, it, it still works after that. Unless they've updated the game in the last couple years or something, which I don't think they have. I don't know why they would have. It should still work. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd you go, big guy? That's the cliff. Oh, I got half his health in the first cycle, so that's not bad. Fortunately, he's got his... Uh, things. Uh, hold on, don't fly off there. That could have been very bad. Okay, got him. And... 
It's hit you a couple times. Oh no. Okay, stop going invincible, please. It's annoying. Let me heal up here and sit here for a second. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, once you go past the door, it stops working. The ultimate strategy is to just keep using the pistol. I know it sounds terrible, but it, it does work. Okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That seems like way too many enemies. Yeah, it, it stops working once you go past the door. But if you you have to have a lot of patience to do it that way. Cade. But if you have the patience, you can do it with a pistol. It just takes three or four hours, but it's still it's completely doable. Cause it took me like maybe three hours to do. Man, this is actually a good time to have a bow. I'm very thankful for having this thing. It does range damage quite well like a sniper. No, you never have to revive Rico. He can lay down for the entire fight. It doesn't make a difference. Like, he can stay dead like the entire fight. It, uh, it's not like Killzone 3. You can... You don't have to revive your teammates in 2. They can literally stay down for three hours and be fine. Alright, he's going through the warp zone, which means we got half of his health down. Bow was an excellent choice, like I said before. I, I like that I have this. Okay, so are you gonna... Ooh, headshots do quite a bit of damage. I see ammo, as long as I don't fall through a hole in the ground, which I think there are a couple. Okay, this is way too many enemies. Oh my god, that is... That, this is ridiculous in the number of enemies. I know it's meant to be done in co-op, but come on. Think about the people who don't have co-op, you know? This is ridiculous. Like, this is way too many enemies. <coughs> How did the mind bender get a throne world this big? Oh. It'll be nice to get away from gaming for a week. I mean, that's not a thousand percent true because I'm going to bring my Vita for the plane flights, but that's the only real difference. The only game that I'm going to do is my Vita on the plane. Won't need it afterward. Though when it was originally going to be a cruise, I was going to probably bring my Switch. In case we had a day with bad weather or something. Nothing really to do and for the plane flights and stuff. Certainly don't need it now, though. Just my Vita for the plane, and that'll be it. Though I'm, I'll probably do just... I have a couple good games on the Vita. That are not uh, on disc. That are downloaded versions. I have... Uh, what all do I have, actually? I got Minecraft. Which, I mean, it's Minecraft. It's, it's, it is what it is. I have uh, Borderlands 2, the Vita version. Be a good way to get back into shape for Borderlands 3 and for the uh, remake of 1. Can't hurt. And then uh, I just downloaded a while back uh, Reverie. I think is the name of it. It's a Earthbound 
type game with an easy platinum. Like an easy five hour platinum. So I might play that a little bit casually while I'm on the plane and stuff. Who knows? Might have a platinum when I get back. Okay, can you stop casting your thing? It's getting annoying. There we go. There we go. That did some damage. No. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I'm gonna die. Yep, yep, he threw me off. Okay, fantastic. This is terrible. Terrible fight. Absolutely garbage fight. How did the Can't do it solo. This big? Not unless I'm higher level than I currently am. If I was like 500 power, I'm sure I could do it, but... This is absolutely ridiculous, though. He died. He... Everything kills you way too quickly, and he just keeps throwing down these stupid invincibility things. And of course, like, the one time I get him down close to death... He just throws me off the side because, of course, the battle has to take place in an area like that. Because that's how you make a game more difficult, by just making it unfair. Instead of actually making it challenging in a good way, you make it just blatantly unfair. One thing I don't like about certain difficulties in games is when they're not done well. Some games can just be legitimately challenging but in a better way. Other games just have unfair difficulty at times. Like, uh, X-Men Destiny. Yeah, that, that was a thing. That was a terrible experience. That is one of my least favorite games I've ever platinumed. Is that video out yet? No, I don't think that video is out yet. Because that was like 358 or something, and we're only on... After next week, we're only going to be on 356. Yeah, that, that game was very rage-inducing. Because it was one of those games that's just blatantly unfair. Not even... Ugh, come on. Quit with this stupid crap. Nope. No way. It's not possible. The pistol, it still works. It's just, like I said, it's just a lot more difficult. It just takes way longer. This big. Oh, Cade. Like, I mean, you can still get them, but you have to be a really good shot, and it. Then they, like, whenever they take cover and stuff, they're so far away, it takes three or four shots to kill them if you hit them in the upper body, so. It's just really, really time consuming. It's not. It's not the worst thing in the world. At least it's there, is the main thing. Like, the fact it exists is awesome. Because if that glitch didn't exist, that would have caused me a lot more pain and difficulty. And I would have eventually done it. But it would have been a lot more painful and difficult. And I mean, I've seen, like, videos of people doing the whole fight without using the glitch and stuff. People that are really good at the game. And also lucky, because when you when it comes to games like that, sometimes you do have to get kind of lucky with spawns. Because if the game, uh... If it just spawns them in really bad places at the wrong time, you can just, you just end up kind of screwed. There's nothing you can do about that. I think I probably did try it legit a few times. And just couldn't do it after a few tries, so just was like, screw it, I'm gonna use the glitch method. Or maybe I did just do the glitch from the beginning, I don't know. I don't even remember, it's been... That was back in 2014. That feels so long ago. I mean, that was 
That was five years ago, so it is kind of a long time ago. Pretty easy to think of. All right, we got him this time. Thank God, that was terrible. We've got to go. This place is destabilizing. Like, if it wasn't for being able to fall off, that would have been easier. That and the fact that he has the the little shield thingies. That and the fact that I'm not particularly good at Destiny. I, I don't consider myself to be bad at like first-person shooters. Built from his death has been destroyed. Not great, but not bad. Yep, I know. You've literally talked about that on every single stream. Not trying to sound mean, but when you literally talk about the same thing on every single time you're on a stream, it gets a little bit old. Ooh, that auto, that pulse rifle's useless now. Oh, we got a grenade launcher. Ooh. Ah, uh, that's a little bit tough, though, because I really like the sword. But that's a solid 10 points higher. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with the grenade launcher. All right. There's one more here. But I want to get up a little bit higher leveled before we do the last one. I want to get up to like at least 460 before I do the last one. Because that one's pretty tough. Probably it's like 440. So getting up a little bit higher would be beneficial. I'm sure the fallen containment cell inbound near our current position. All right, we got an event going. Let's do this. See if we can get a piece of gear out of it. Oh, I don't. I don't want the grenade launcher out. I don't want to waste my precious ammo for it. And we made it. So once we kill the last guy, we should be able to move on to the next part of the story. This is actually a decently long DLC, at least. Especially compared to Curse of Osiris or, uh, or Warmind, really. Because both of those were fairly short. I mean, Curse of Osiris is like two hours, and Warmind is only like maybe five Not really long enough to justify the price tag of like 20 bucks a piece. Okay, good. They seem to know what you're supposed to do. That's good. At least one of them does. That's good because I figured out how to do this yesterday, so I'm happy about that. Oh, crap. He went down. I've got you. Since you are better at this, clearly, because I've never actually thrown the thing at him. Oh, no. Someone else killed him. Dang it. Whoever else killed him, you just ruined it. Thanks. 454... 460... Uh, I might infuse that into the Mida later on, but I'll hold on to the bow for the range, just to have a ranged weapon. Whoa, look, look at this pistol. This looks very similar to some real world ones. It looks a fair amount like a Luger, like an old German Luger with a suppressor on it. That's kind of funny looking. Actually, it looks a lot like a Luger with a less funky side and a suppressor on it. That, that's crazy. It looks just like that. It looks very real, more like a real world thing. 
Hi, Gro7. Alright, so yeah, that, that's probably going to be a little too hard at the moment. I want to get up a little bit higher level first. What is this on Io, though? I want to see what this is. Because level 380 should be doable. Where did I put my phone? There it is. I understand your visions have taken the form of trees. I've seen them too. I went back to Io for answers. Trees? The traveler touched. Io will react to your arrival. If you let it. Oh god, apparently, I'm looking at something on Twitter that someone tweeted. Deponia Doomsday apparently has some absurd trophy in it. Oh boy, I mean, I don't own it yet because it's all, they're always overpriced for a while, but... I put us down right in front of the crater. Oh boy, that, that sounds fun. You have to make 243 unique combi combinations of jackalopes. For some inexplicable reason. Whoa, okay. Looks like the light has taken over. I guess that's good. What was that? Whatever you saw was for you and you alone. The traveler is speaking to you. Eyes up, Guardian. Hey, Invisible. Had to restart your laptop. I think I need to update mine. Devotion I think I just got a new update today, but didn't bravery. do it yet. Bravery inspires sacrifice. Sacrifice leads to death. So I guess this is gonna give me a new weapons class, maybe. These are or just a new character class, not saw. weapons class. These visions are constructs of the traveler's light, and light reacts to its surroundings. Yeah, that seems to be what this is. Oh, oh, this is semi-automatic. Oh, I don't know about that. The bow might be better in the end. Even if it's slightly less damaging. Alright, well this would be cool if we get a new subclass set. And we have random trees and random taken. Alright, so is it I don't even know if this is an SMG or a or an assault rifle. I think it was an SMG though. The Taken can see the trees. I'm playing some Destiny 2 today. The light. Getting in one last stream before I head out uh Saturday. Yeah, that should be interesting because uh my plane is my plane flight is at 6 a.m. Exactly on Saturday. You have not replaced me. And that, that's a bit early for me. Now, 6 a.m. isn't necessarily bad, but uh, that means getting up around 3:30 to 4 in the morning. That, that, that's just a tad early. But it's all worth it. Because it's going to be fun. At least the flight back uh, a week from Saturday is at like 1 in the afternoon. It's not up at the crack of dawn.
so I can at least get back on, have Sunday to recuperate. Might need a vacation post-vacation if I drink enough. It's weird seeing the Taken again. Haven't seen them in a while. Oh, hello. What was that? Protect the trees. Extreme environmentalism or something. I don't know. Humanity must have protectors. You will stand with me. Are you the Taken talking about protecting humanity? Or is that supposed to be the Traveler? If it's the Traveler, it, it, I guess it would make sense because I don't know if we've ever heard the Traveler actually speak. I only ever hear uh, hear the Speaker speak for the Traveler, I think. At this point, I don't even remember. Destiny 1's so obscure, and even the story of Destiny 2, the quote-unquote story, is obscure enough. Oh, well, now I'm going off the edge. Oh, there's no, there's no actual edge there. Okay, good. Alright, so I saw maybe it was a witch or something. They're the ones we need to get rid of. And then once I get back, get to play, uh, I'll go pick up uh, Borderlands. Uh, Guns Instructor. I mean, it would be a fun, like, side job or anything to do with that, but... Uh, wouldn't be something I'd want to do full time because it wouldn't really make a lot of money. Alright, come on. You can go down now. Got him. It's kind of cool. This thing actually sounds like it's suppressed. I, I give him some credit for that because... I don't think it really makes a difference in the grand scheme of things, but it's kind of cool, I guess. It's a little bit different. Whoa, okay. I uh, guess that means we did something right, because last time we did something right, that happened. Red Dead, uh, yep. Red Dead 1. Red Dead 1, if you boost the multiplayer, is not too bad. There's a couple of hard trophies in the single player, but it definitely doesn't stack up to the difficulty of two in terms of the campaign. Because the 100% in one is significantly easier. You only have to get, I think, one gold medal. The gold medals are a lot harder in Red Dead 1, but you only have to get one of them. And there's, like, a couple of early missions that are super easy that you can get it on. Dang it. I'm not having luck with this guy. Yeah, if you boost the multiplayer, Red Dead 1 isn't too bad. Although, I don't even know how well you can boost it anymore. With how bad the servers were even when I did it in 2014. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun to go back to in this summer. Because I intend to... That's one of the games I intend to start working on cleaning up over the summer. Try to make some... Uh, clean up some of the trophies. Like, of what I have left, the second DLC is easy to grind... Or to, to boost. The first DLC isn't actually true multiplayer. It's just a co-op mode, and I think you can do it all with two people. Now, I don't know how hard it is overall, but I, I can't imagine it's un unbearable. Especially if you can do it with two people. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, the, the fourth DLC, the Undead Nightmare, only has two online trophies, and I did the hard one. The one that takes like ten Travel's people. Travel's been alive for a year. 
I still need to do the other it's one so related to like the zombie it. survival mode, but that one's not too hard. Just never got around to doing it. And I think it can be done with when two people. Its, light, the it's the third DLC that I'm worried about. Because that's got the poker trophies and the so horse racing trophies. The that's definitely the worst of the four. My favorite gun of all time. Ooh, that's a, that's a tough choice. I, I don't even know. I'm not sure I can make a pick on that. I, I get favorites from different games and stuff, though. In the old Call of Duties, my favorite was always the MP40. Old German submachine gun from World War II. That was always one of my favorites. I don't know, I just always liked something about it. I don't know what. It has a really odd design to it, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's, uh, this is gonna be tough. Uh, let's go ahead and use this on these. Got him. Got them both. I'll take it. I think my thing lasts longer than it used to. Maybe, maybe because I'm leveled up or something. I don't even know. Seems like it's lasting a bit longer, so that's a good thing if it's true. Or at the very least, if it feels like it, then that's a good thing. Machine gun or minigun? Uh... I guess it depends on the situation. I find it interesting then, like every game out there, the minigun has the super high rate of fire, but is always really low powered. Like in all the Fallout games, for example, miniguns are always, uh, they have the super high rates of fire, but they aren't very damaging. I mean, I don't even use them in Fallout 76 because they're so outclassed by the Gatling gun. Because in, in Fallout 76, the Gatling gun is an absolute beast. Like, it's slower than the minigun, but it's, like, three or four times as damaging per shot. It's more accurate. It has the funniest looking sight on it that I've ever seen. Or one of the funniest. Because you can't actually use it. You, your guy doesn't even use it. You put the side on it and you don't even use it. Uh, okay, there's more enemies here then. Maybe one more somewhere. Come on, where are you hiding at? There's one of you versus one of me. You're not going to win this. Oh, two of you versus one of me. You're still not going to win this. Yeah, the ammo is a big thing about it. The GTA games, four is pretty hard. I'll agree with that. I've never actually done it. I only intend to. Unless it gets remastered on PS4 or PS5 whenever that comes out. If that happens, then I might uh, do it then, but not not the PS3 version. It's not going to happen. It isn't worth the time. Especially with like some of the glitches in the game and stuff. It's just not really worth it. GTA 5, though, is... GTA 5's medium difficulty. It's just time consuming. It's easier than Red Dead 2. By a pretty good margin. I mean, the multiplayer's harder. But just it, like, they're about, they take about the same amount of time with the multiplayer. The multiplayer for GTA 5's harder, but you can lose most of the hard stuff in it. Like, winning all the game modes. Where you just have to grind to level 100, which you can just do on double XP events. Can, can so we do double XP closer? events every weekend. 
Interact. The ammo does make a big difference, so... Congratulations, Guardian. Remember, when we channel the light, we connect to something much bigger than any one of us. Even departed sparks. We got it! We got a new ability! Or, actually, I don't know what that is. We call the light. Seed of light. Highlight any subclass for your cursor and press triangle. Okay, what's new? What is this? Question is, does that also work on you? Uh I don't know if I like that that much. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. Make a decision a little bit later. Maybe look up what other people are suggesting. That's cool, though. So, it's not actually for a subclass. It's just a, uh... A seed of light for a new ability within the subclass. There's nothing wrong with that. I might just have to look into that and see what the, the best places to use it are. I still got my other two characters I can work on leveling up at some point. I think I have like a one of those upgrade abilities that I got for buying the for, that I got for buying Forsaken. I think I have some kind of like upgrade thing that's supposed to instantly power level me. So, gotta decide if I'd rather give that to the Titan or the Hunter. Probably gonna give it to the Titan because the Hunter is. A lot better just in PvP, as best I can tell, but not necessarily anything special in uh, single player stuff, or story. Yeah, I wonder if this is going to be one of those areas where we get like near infinite abyss. Ah, uh, sort of. We definitely got more that time. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so we basically get infinite supers here. Epic. Love areas like this. Just absolutely devastate everything. Reckless abandon. Gonna get some XP out of this too, so we're gonna come close to leveling up again, possibly. Man, I, I get, this is hilarious. I could just about like sit. Well, no, they. Uh, I was about to say like this would be a decent way to grind XP, but they don't give you any, so never mind. Uh oh, got a big guy spawning in. I, I'm curious as to know exactly if it wants me to. Oh, wrong button. Uh, Where I only hit all one, not wrong one. But... Okay, this is cool and all that I can just absolutely mass murder everything, but am I supposed to be doing this or am I supposed to? I'm assuming I'm supposed to go somewhere else. I don't think I just gotta kill everything. That seems. Well, you know what? Actually, they aren't respawning. Ah, uh, let's just try doing a little more killing, get some more XP out of it, maybe. If they do decide to give XP. Oh, he just, he literally dodged it. He just juked out of the way. Uh, it doesn't... I can't even tell. You know what, let's just keep moving. Which gun do I recommend mostly, like, in real life or in game or... In Destiny 2, there's like a billion guns. Well, not that many, but there's a lot, so... There's probably over a thousand in the game, so... Which means literally nothing given Borderlands 3 on the horizon. 
the game that's going to have over one billion different guns. That's pretty epic. Which means with that many, there's going to be some really cool rare ones. I am so excited for Borderlands 3 in September. I can't wait for that. Hey, Triumph completed. Okay. For something. Oh, that was it? Well, oh, okay, jump down there. Let's get the item before it expires. Woo, I could have... It's probably not much, but worth getting. Awesome. Got the new uh, thing. Although I don't think that's forwarding the story at all, but we got some gear. Yeah, it's a little bit better. And it's a side quest completed, or an additional quest completed. So gotta take out one more Baron. Uh, is there anything to do with the tower at the moment? Nothing truly important. Is there gonna be anything left on IO now? Nope, that's clear, okay. I think there's a lot of strikes I need to try out at some point. Like ones that I haven't done yet. Yeah, man, that was fun. That was cool. Like, just... I mean, it's a cool ability already, but the fact that you basically have infinite admissions like that... Makes the game fun there. All right, let's go ahead and do another mission here. Or another event. Ah, uh, where's the... Oh, it's over here. Okay, we gotta, we gotta run over there. So I want to get my gear score up a little bit more, like I said, before we try the, the last adventure. And if I could get all the way to 500, that would be awesome, but I'm never going to get that far uh, in a day or anything. Well, I, I guess I could if I had enough missions to do and enough decent level a, strikes to do, but not a whole lot of that available at the moment. All right, it's the same event that we did a few times yesterday and earlier today. Okay, that's the first group, except it's not counting the first group as being done. There it goes. Second group. Oh, and then not just is uh do we have Borderlands One remaster to look forward to once I get home or get back, but uh there's also Days Gone. Which, I think from what I've heard, it's going to have enough content to justify being purchased, but probably not on day one. Like, I'll, I'll probably buy Days Gone, because I'm sure it'll have DLC and stuff too, but... Probably won't buy it day one. It's probably going to be... Probably not quite going to be worth 60 bucks, and I can probably just wait like a month and get it for... 40. We'll see. We'll see. See some early reviews and stuff of it when it gets to that point. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out later on.
Okay, am I gonna manage to solo this event's heroic version? Is the question. I don't know. It's not the easiest event to solo compared to, like, the ones on, uh, Titan. Enter the team voice channel. Or, because it... Something, because they're near me, I don't even know. Uh, where's the orb at that we pick up that we throw at him? I'm not... Huh, okay, so I didn't see the orb thing you pick up. Bioshock Infinite 1999. Well, Bioshock isn't like a short game, though. I don't feel like four uh, days is like a lot. Bioshock's not uh, the shortest game in the world. Say about sword fighting. No, wouldn't work at all. This isn't uh this ain't like for honor. This uh it's too fast paced, too heavily focused on the loot drops. Nah, that, that would never happen. I mean people might occasionally fight a little bit with swords, but there's no like actual sword fighting mechanics in it. I mean yeah, there's swords, but What happens if I jump in? Is that what I have to do? I gotta... Okay, uh, I know what you have to do, but I just... I don't really know... Exactly how you get the orb thing out that you use to charge up to hit him. I haven't figured that much out yet. Okay, he's not going to freeze over again with 30 seconds left, so I'm just going to kill him. So he at least gets some kind of decent reward. Oh! Oh, he did freeze over again! I haven't seen him do that before. Three times? Huh, okay. Well, you know what? Uh, let him hit it. I've, I haven't seen it happen three times before. No, okay. Uh, crap. We're running out of time. Kill him. I had to do it before the time ran out, so we got something out of it. Didn't want to lose out on everything for nothing. I mean, I don't really lose out on much, because, you know, you have... You can always get more ammo and stuff, but... Hey, look at that! We got a new sword! Speaking of swords, Invisible... Oh, yes! I like that. Very high power. Excellent, so we've got an even higher powered Void Sword. Very cool. Uh, so it looks like we've gotten a couple of new triumphs done. I figured out a little more what you have to do for the triumph seal. It's these things on the bottom, not these. You don't have to do, like, everything in these, technically. I'm assuming the lore one is going to be the easiest. But I could be wrong on that. I need to look more into that eventually. Completing a Triumph Seal is probably going to be big for, like, gear and stuff. And the trophy. That's... I've heard that 1999 mode is tough, but not, like, unbearable by any means. I've played Bio... I've played some of the Bioshock stuff. I don't exactly remember what, though. And I didn't even play it on PS3 or PS4. I played it on uh, Xbox with my roommate. I'm 
trying to remember which... I think we played Infinite. I think was the main one we played. We might have played 2 as well. I think I remember playing Infinite. And it was fun for what I did play of it. It's just never a series I fully got into. I should probably consider doing Infinite at some point. Might be fun. Then Orange. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. One, isn't Bioshock made by Gearbox? For some reason I'm thinking that. And at the same time... Uh, didn't one of them go free on PS Plus at some point? Or I might have it in my backlog somewhere. I think at least one of them went free at some point. I mean, I don't know if I'd still have it, unfortunately, but I never know. Anyone else remember when we got PS3 games for free on PS Plus? Don't get that anymore. I guess it kind of it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, it makes PS Plus a lot less valuable. The fact that we now only get two games per month instead of six is really like that's a pretty big downgrade, even if they aren't always good games. Ooh, this thing is Spencer weird Shield looking. Found Cabal containment cell from the prison of elders. Yeah, I think that at this point PS Plus is now too overpriced. Now that we only get two free games a month instead of six. Unless they start making all AAA games for the free releases. Which is not going to happen, obviously, because that would probably cost them too much money. But that would make it much more worthwhile. Because if at least the games were fairly good. Because, like, last month, was it? We got... What did we get last month? We got Modern Warfare Remastered, which was good. That was a good one. But The Witness, some random third-party puzzle game that isn't particularly good. And then this month we're getting The Surge and Conan Exiles, which are both, like, mediocre games. I mean, I don't mind paying for PS Plus if it's going to be decent, but when it's not, when the stuff we get for free, like the benefits of it aren't that great. The discounts are nice, though. Okay, well, I guess they didn't know exactly what we're supposed to do either, because we only got the regular level of it. I mean, that's fine. I mean, it's not that big a deal. I'm just trying to get my gear score up a little bit. Okay, so 2K did do Bioshock. Oh yeah, I guess sometime in the next probably three to six months we'll get the next uh, NBA 2K game. Or Prelude, NBA 2K Prelude game, I mean. Which means another quick and easy 100%. As I intend to do that series for as long as I can. The, not 2K, but the preludes. Because I did the first three. And the problem with those is they become impossible after a year. Because they shut down the servers. Which it's even more absurd that the prelude games would have servers to them. 
given that they're literally just that, preludes. Like, not actual games, they're just little demos, basically, and they have servers to them for some reason. I don't get that one. Maybe that's just me, though. But hey, as long as I can keep getting easy 100% and finish and do the series, you know, you gotta do the series, guys. You always gotta do the series. Which is what's roping me into doing Far Cry 2 in a couple of months. That is not gonna be fun. I gotta get a second copy of the game, too, when, it, when I bring my second PS3 up here. And then I'm also going to do, uh, I think, I can't 100% confirm this, but I think you can self-boost most of Battlefield 3. You can't self-boost all of it, unless you had at least four PS3s, which obviously I do not. I'll tell you guys, though, as weird as it sounds, if I won the lottery, I would just go out and buy a couple more PS3s so I could boost whatever I wanted. But I think you can boost most of Battlefield 3 with two consoles or two people. There's a few things that require more. But I actually went back and played a little bit of Battlefield 3 earlier in the week. Try to get a little bit of a feel for it because I didn't really have anything else to do that day. That'll be a good one to get eventually, because I think it's only like a 3% Platinum. And an even rarer 100%. Because the DLC is pretty easy if you boost it. I'm showing a There's only like a couple of harder trophies for the DLC. Position. The main game... I don't think the multiplayer for the main game is that hard. Maybe a couple of the ribbons, but you can boost all of them with just two people. If they let you start a match with two people, which they may not. That's the main concern is, do they let you start a match with two people or do you have to have four? If they let you do it with two, then you can self-boost almost everything. If not, then that's a problem. I guess if I had four, if you had four PS3s, you could about self-boost Uncharted. I think you need six to, to boost Uncharted. So hey, if I win the lottery, I'll go out and buy six PS3s, so I have enough to boost any game on the PS3. I don't mind some challenge in games until it gets to more absurd levels that are just unfair. When it gets to that point, I just get sick of it, get kind of annoyed. Just don't really want to deal with it. And then I also get annoyed with the fact, like, you know, I work full-time now, don't have anywhere near as much time to game, so I don't really want to waste large amounts of my free time on games that stress me out and that I can't beat because I'm not good enough at it or just don't... Not that I'm not good enough at it, but just don't have the patience for it. Because frankly, I think I just fell off the map. <laughs> like, if I wanted to do... Let's say Killzone 2 servers were still up. And I wanted to start doing Killzone 2 and boost it today. Even boosting the multiplayer and stuff. I'd have a lot more trouble doing it today than I did four or five years ago. Because I'm more stressed out and less time to work on it and stuff. So... Because when I boosted Killzone 2 back in the day and finished Killzone 2, finished the Platinum for it. Okay, they're gonna... They got him, yep. Because when I did it back in the day, it was during finals week for senior year when I only had one final exam. 
because during the second semester of senior year, we were allowed to exempt any exams where we had a high enough grade in the class. Only second semester of senior year, but it meant a lot because it meant I literally only had one final and it was one for English that I couldn't even study for. Because it was designed as a way to prepare you for the AP exam, the advanced placement exam that can get you a little bit of college credit. So there was like nothing I could even study and that was also on like Tuesday of the week. So like after that one day or that one morning where I was busy with an exam, I had like nothing to do. So that was the perfect time to work on Killzone 2, both uh, boosting the multiplayer and slowly working on single player during that time. And then I did Red Dead 2 not long after that. Or Red Dead 1, not Red Dead 2. I don't know why I said Red Dead 2. I do, I am curious to know if they ever managed to fix the servers for Red Dead 1. Probably not. Not looking forward to going back to that. Alright, what do we have new for gear? Okay, that's a 10 point boost. It's another 3 points. Oh, yeah, if I can get up to 470, that'll definitely be a level at which I do the next mission. Ah, perfect. This one's starting. I can at least do the basic level of it and get something. Because virtually every item I pick up now is going to be better than something that I currently have. Sunsinger, no, uh... This is the, uh, the Warlock. Well, the Warlock is the character type. Or actually, Sun... I don't think it's Sunsinger, but it's... Let me see exactly what it's called. I'm curious, then. Daybreaker or Sunbreaker, maybe? Dawnblade. Okay, I wasn't even close. Dawnblade, okay. Oh, that, that was almost off the side of the cliff. No, there went the Ice Maker. If you heard anything there. At least the dishwasher stopped a little while ago. It's nice, though, because, like, Thursdays, it's funny because, like, Wednesdays are a really good day for me to stream, because not only is it, you know, hump day, middle of the week, you know, celebrate the middle of the week, but, uh, it's also Thursdays are usually the one day of the week that I have, like, nothing to do. Like, easily, it would easily be a day that I could work from home if my company allowed it. Because I think once you work there for long enough, they let you work from home one day a week. Which I'm obviously not going to work there long enough to get to that point. But if I if I did, it would definitely be Thursdays, because I never really have a lot to do on Thursdays. Very slow days compared to the rest of the week. Because I always have meetings on Tuesdays and Fridays at this point in time. Wednesdays, I have a certain uh, weekly assignments I get done on or by Wednesdays. And then uh, Mondays, of course, after the weekend, you know, you have your early week stuff to get done and all the emails and stuff you get over the weekend. Uh, I don't think I've played any Counter Strikes. I mean, I had that in Red Dead 1 as well, back in, like, 2014, but 
again, we were bo we boosted all the difficult stuff in the multiplayer that took any real skill, like the three wins in a row trophy. And then, uh, what class do I consider to be the best or the worst? Uh, it depends on what game mode you're in. Like, I think that, as best I've found, Warlock... Warlock has been my main class, so I like to think that it's the best for PvE stuff. I could be wrong on that, but it's it's been, I think, my best to play as. If you're doing PvP stuff against other players, I think the Hunter class is best. But I believe it's also the worst for this kind of stuff that I'm doing right now. Co-op stuff. And then Titan is somewhere in the middle for everything. Like, middle for both versions. As best I can tell. I could be wrong, though, because they've, they've respect and changed them over the years. Over the last couple years since the game came out. I mean, it's only been a year and a half since the game came out. All right, heroic event completed. Nice. Oh, you drunk. Okay, never mind. I can't murder you. Some new leg armor, some flower pieces for which is this world's currency. Oh, is the soft cap around 470 or something? That's what it's starting to look like. I don't think it is, but it's starting to look a little like that. Because I'm starting to slow down a little bit. I would have thought it would have been closer to like 550-ish, because I think the max is 600. Oh wow, it's only 920. Okay, I'm not sure what event that is. I don't think I've done this one. Or this location. I wish reviving people actually gave you some kind of benefit. I mean, it obviously does in the raid when you have limited lives, but... Other places, not really. So, you know, I really need to go look up the last wish raid or whatever it's called and just see what you have to do in it. So I can at least start to get a little familiar with it. I mean, I'm nowhere near ready to do it, but just to at least see sort of what I have to do. I want to get as leveled up as I can before this event, or before this last adventure, forwarding the story. And then there's still that mission back in the EDZ I have to do. The arms dealer quest. I'm not looking forward to because even when it said it was only like a level 350 or whatever it, w it said it was on it was way harder than it should have been and I'm not sure it's gonna, it's gonna even be possible yet to do solo I mean co-op it probably wouldn't be that bad but I don't have any people to play co-op with right now oh I've never seen this one Cool, so we got an event I haven't done before. See if we can figure out anything about it on this first attempt. Not seeing anything immediate. Oh, oh, he was. 
Was he not the thing I had to deal with? Maybe not. Okay, it seems like the team is not hitting anything else, so... I'm gonna follow their lead and see if they know what to do. No, they are killing him. Okay, so... That's clearly not it. Or if it is, it's something else. If it's just killing three of those guys to finish the event, then that's an easy event. I doubt that's what we have to do to finish it, though. Okay, with the way they're spawning, there might be something in this segment. Well, you know, I don't see anything extra to destroy like some of these events have. Okay, is it... Yep, next phase. Uh, so what else do we have to do in the event? Can we destroy the servitors? That's sometimes a thing? No, I don't think so. Okay, I have no idea what they did to trigger the heroic version. Wait, a Baron? Oh, I wonder. If I kill him, will I have to will I still have to do the adventure or can I progress the game? If I don't have to do the adventure, that'd be awesome. I don't know how they triggered him, but That's one I don't really know about yet. I assume that doesn't work for the uh, mission, but you never know. What are they what are they going after over there? Oh, someone's doing a mission actually. That's uh, one of the missions. Let's help them out. I think this was one of the missions I did yesterday. And let's also see what gear I got. It's a six point increase. So the, the soft cap is not 470 then. It's slowing down, but that's not the soft cap. The Mad Hatta Bomber. I wonder if I if I redo the adventure, will that count? I'm honestly curious about this. I want to see what happens. See if there's an easier way to do this uh, for the story. Ooh, item. Shiny, 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 shiny. I must have shiny. Shiny. So remember that from Sugar Conroy when that used to be one of his jokes is like, shiny is good. I go for shiny and shiny is good. Actually, one of my favorite uh, YouTubers right now, his name is All the Shinies. He does insanely in-depth Let's Plays of games. From a trophy hunting perspective, like shows how to like full platinum walkthroughs of long games or even 100% walkthroughs of long games like he's doing one of Red Dead 2 that he's been working on for a long time okay so since I wasn't part of the adventure it no longer tells me where to go that, that was kind of to be expected but it was kind of cool to try out alright we got an event over here we can do that one next I think I got a new piece of gear. Let's see what level it is. It's a gun. It's higher damage, but 
I guess it wouldn't be a bad choice. We'll, we'll hold on to both of these, though. Uh, the bow and the sidearm are now out of date. Or out-leveled pretty badly. Uh, does it say how long I have until the event starts? Because I kind of have to use the bathroom. Okay, that's enough time. I'll be back in two and a half minutes. All right, I'm back. I don't think I missed the event. Nope, it's still there. Perfect. It's about to start. Oh, I just missed getting the supercharge, but I already have supercharge, so it's not a big deal. Well, it's only been an hour and a half. Feels like it's been going longer. But hey, I got a trophy today, so I'm happy. The Triumph Points one. Which I knew was an easy trophy, I just didn't exactly know what it meant, and it popped extremely late, apparently. Or it only popped once I quit the game and jumped back in for some reason. Can't complain, though. It's two down, eight to go. From this DLC. Oh, this probably isn't the best sniper rifle, then. Who in the future decided that sniper rifles should average three rounds in the magazine? Doesn't seem particularly efficient. Personally, but... I mean, I don't know, maybe something in the future. It's definitely not efficient today. I can't even tell how I was hitting him. Didn't look like it did any damage, really. I guess because he is a tougher enemy. Alright, uh, they seem to know exactly what to do, so... Good. Drain his health a little bit more, because we can. This is good. We'll finish the higher level version of it. I need to stop walking off the back of that cliff. Uh, 
to grab the green. We need some extra green ammo. Alright, got the heroic event started. Did I land on his head? Aw, oh, not quite. You just slide off. That's unfortunate. That'd be a nice hiding spot against the weird ground physics. Just do a 360 no-scope off the side of the building. Or off the side of the cliff. Not the building, the cliff. I love how that was literally a trophy in uh, Borderlands the pre-sequel. To do a 360 no-scope kill. Because Borderlands makes fun of other things sometimes, and that was one of those cases. There's also the classic quest uh, with Mr. Face Shooty. That is his name. And all you have to do is shoot him in the face a few times and you complete the quest. Fun quest, because nice and easy, and it's a later game quest, too, which is even more surprising. Quick, easy, and fun. What is that thing? Level 47, alright. Surprise is not a trophy for hitting level 50, because there isn't, but it's a little bit surprising. Would have been an easy one to add in, because they only have 10 trophies, and you can have up to 12 in a DLC. Ooh, nice 10-point boost there. All right, a couple more missions. And uh, I'll feel confident enough to take on the next adventure and actually progress the story a bit. Get 30 or 40 light above where I need to be. Oh, let's go do this one. It's already active. I feel like these sparrows are not as fast as they could be in real life. Or, I mean, in the future in real life, not in modern day, but... They seem like they aren't really any faster than, like, a regular a car or anything. About to touch down in this sector. I don't know, maybe just being on another planet, things affected, I don't know. Alright, first wave down. Haven't gotten a single piece of even legendary gear, much less exotic, out of these uh, missions, out of these events. I mean, oh, I think I actually hit him. Hit him through the nose, or hit him through the quick scope. Anyone else remember when that was a thing? Two thousand nine. It was like the biggest thing in the world back in the day. 360 no scope or quick scope montages on YouTube were the the greatest thing ever and the best way to fame back when YouTube didn't suck. Back when Machinima still ruled. Yeah, anyone remember that day? Those days? God, I feel old thinking of them. Channels I've subscribed to over the years and followed heavily have just changed so much. I mean, never... I haven't been subscribed to Machinima in years. The Cryopod emits a freezing gas. Wow, what made you realize that game? 
and I still don't know how to get the thing out of him. I mean, I, I could always look it up, but where's the fun in that, you know? Sort of want to figure it out for myself if possible. Clearly, I'm not going to, so... Oh, I remember when I was talking about games coming out in the near future earlier. Uh, World War Z is coming out soon, of all things. I don't know too much about the game. I don't know if it's based specifically off of the movie or off of the book, or if it's an entirely sort of new story within that, I guess you could say, world. I don't know, maybe it'll be good. I want to see some gameplay and reviews and stuff of it as well as Days Gone. You never know, maybe it'll be good. Especially now that the uh, the sequel to World War Z is officially cancelled. For some reason. Oh, I fell off. Or got yeeted off, but... Yeah, because the, the sequel to the World War Z movie got cancelled. It kept getting delayed, and now it's officially cancelled, so I guess it's not that big a surprise. I, I'm a little sad about that. I was hoping for it to come out, because... Decent zombie movie every now and then is fun. Although when it comes to decent or good zombies movies, we've got uh, Zombieland 2 this year. I cannot wait for that. That is, is going to be a day one movie for me. The original Zombieland is a freaking classic. Like, that is one of the best zombies... Dang it. I need to stop falling off the cliff and actually play the game. So yeah, the original... Oh, why would you start me all the way back here? Yeah, Zombieland is a freaking classic. Definitely one of the better zombies movies out there. I mean, it took him 10 years to get us a sequel, but I guess better late than never. That'll be a day one uh, viewing for me. I know the next movie I'm going to go see is... I might go see Pet Cemetery once I get back from vacation. Alright, we're up to 470. Hopefully that's going to be good enough for the adventure. Yeah, I, I might go see that because the theater that's not too far from my place is, uh, they do $5. All the AMC theaters do $5 tickets on Tuesdays, or most of them do. And, you know, $5 movie tickets. Not exactly a bad price at all. I mean, the popcorn and soda is still going to cost you another 10 bucks. Or in my case, because these theaters are awesome up here, they actually sell alcohol. So I can have popcorn and a beer. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, I might go see that, just because $5 ticket Tuesdays. It encourages me to go see movies that I might not otherwise see. Because it's cheaper. Uh, Detective Pikachu, I'll probably go see that. That's in May, so that's only a month from now. I'm not sure if casting Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu was the best choice in the world, but we'll see. I 
I know that Game Theory did a video actually that was cool. It was like, is it uh, is it Ash's Pikachu? Fortunately, I don't remember what the end result of that video was. Should have known that this was something because I've been up here before. This is a sniper. Our last Baron. Sightlines. We're to on forward the, the story. That murdered Cade's ghost. That was a one-shot kill. Keep your guard up. Ah, target okay then. So he's a bad. He's very dangerous then. See, I'm gonna see those. We got Zombie Land, like I said, and then on. Uh, I don't know what else comes out this year, though, aside from those few movies. Because I already saw Wreck-It Ralph 2. It was disappointing. Saw the Lego movie 2. It was also... It was better than Wreck-It Ralph 2, but it was also disappointing. Saw the Upside, which was actually pretty solid. Although I have, I've seen the original French version of it, though. And the French version is better. French version handles the romantic part of it many times better. But also, like, Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston did really well Sorry, working together on that one, so... It, it, it actually was pretty hilarious at times. Even if it boiled down to some lazier jokes sometimes, it was still fun. Like, if it, even if it boiled down to, like, dick jokes and stuff, sometimes it was fun enough to... It's definitely worth a watch. I guess there's Avengers Endgame if I cared. Which I don't really care about those cinematic universes. Neither one interests me that much. I'm more interested in the monster verse. Which is like Godzilla and King Kong and such. Because we're getting, what is it, Godzilla vs. Kong either this year or next year. That'll be fun. That, that should be good because both of those movies were pretty good. Because <laughs> both the like 2014 Godzilla and the, the King Kong from like 2017 were actually pretty good. So... I'll be curious to see where they take that series. I love how he bragged about him being a one-shot kill when that's not really a hard thing to do in Destiny. Uh, with Destiny weapons, I mean. These super overpowered futuristic snipe rifles and stuff. All right, that's two down. There's a third one. Oh, and next year we get the sequel to A Quiet Place. Along with that, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Quiet Place was actually really good. It's, uh... It was very... It did things pretty unique. Now, I will say, though, I was hoping for more scary to it than just the thriller aspect. But it was still good. Definitely worth a watch. Very unique design to it. Which Bird Box then completely copied and ripped off. Because Bird Box is basically the same thing, but with your eyes, not not being able to use your eyes instead of your ears. I 
and also having nowhere near, like, the tense atmosphere and stuff. Because apparently the creatures, like, don't attack you. They can only... They don't attack you directly or something. I don't even know. I don't know. I never actually watched Bird Box. Didn't find anything too interesting about it. Maybe we get, uh... Uh, a sequel to Ready Player One in the next couple years. Like the book first and then eventually a movie sequel. Because that's one of the best books I've read in the last, like, probably five years. Really, really good book and a lot of fun to read. One that I didn't ever want to put down, you know? Definitely one that I would uh, recommend to any of my fellow nerds out there. The movie, you know, I think I talked about this a little bit before, but it's like... The movie is... As, an act, as just a straight up movie, or even as an adaptation, it's good. It's actually very good in terms of being a movie. But in terms of its accuracy to the book, it's awful. Like, it's not even close. And I mean, even as an adaptation, it's still a good movie, in my opinion. Because a lot of books don't translate well to movies, or TV shows don't translate well to movies. But, uh... It does the transition pretty well, in terms of just getting onto the big screen and all, and the acting is good and all, but... just uh didn't get anywhere near the book in a lot of the story aspects which was disappointing although i do know that some of that was because you know they couldn't get licenses to certain properties so i get that i mean that that can influence things and crap they're i'm actually about to die So I'll be curious to see what they do for a sequel to that and see what it would be about. And the eventual movie that would probably come of it. Because I think the movie was pretty successful. Especially, like, overall. Overall, I think it was pretty successful. I think it made two or three times its money back and had, like, a 70% approval or something, which isn't bad. You're gonna mount my ghost? You ain't killing my ghost. Y you just made things personal, sir. You ain't doing anything to my ghosty. He's like the only good character I have left now that uh, Cade's dead. Because killing off like your only really good character makes so much sense. Shock value, yes, but doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, I haven't seen one of these things in a while. Well, I killed it, so it's okay. How does that count as a misadventure? Didn't I technically die from being shot by an enemy? I thought misadventure was when you fell off a cliff. I have a lot of ammo for this thing, for my energy weapon. Got a bit of an interesting sight on it. Tradi more traditional looking red dot type sight. Another fake sniper. This is that Call of Duty World at War mission. You know, Vendetta. When you have to kill all the... When you have to fight the sniper and the sniper decoys and stuff. Or it's mainly the sniper. And it's awful on Veteran because... He takes three hits to kill and you die in one. Uh, that was... I did that even before, like, Killzone 2, so... That was very early in my legit trophy hunting days. 
I've always taught my story about how when I did that game, I'd gotten up to Heart of the Reich, which is the next to last mission in the game and one of the hardest ones. Why is it so dark in here? And I'd gotten all the way up. Ah, uh, here we go. We got the battle. Perfect. And he's going to have his decoils throughout the fight, so great. I see you. So I was on Heart of the Reich, and it was very, very stressful because that's one of the hardest missions in the game. I mean, naturally it should be. It's the next to last mission, but it's a difficult one. Oh, great. Of course he goes into disguise mode and wastes my thing. So he's going to be annoying. Although if he can only... If his only ads he can pop up are his decoys... Then I guess that's better. I'm sure that's not the case. Yeah, of course not. Why would it, why would it be simple? Although at least he can't one-hit kill me, it seems like, unless he has a special attack that I don't know about. Alright, where'd he go? Nope. Okay. He's got his fakes. They'll add up, though, over time with all the number of them, so... There we go, that was some good damage. But yeah, when I was playing uh, Heart of the Reich... doing that, and then uh, during it, I ended up having to take a break at some point, because I had to go to the doctor's office for, like, my physical for school for uh, tennis. And my blood pressure was high when I got there, because I, of the stress from the game. I still joked that was the reasoning. I mean, I get, technically, I have a bit of a genetic predisposition to high blood pressure, but at that point in time, it shouldn't have been happening. It wasn't something that started to hit until a little bit later. Until, like, college years. Realized it, and then, uh... And then, following that, I've gotten it under control, so... Gotten it pretty much back to normal by eating better and being healthier, so... Not really much of a threat now, as long as I keep you trying to eat better and all. So it's not as big of a threat as it could have been. I would suggest for anyone who maybe wants to lose weight and all, and isn't a big fan of some of the dieting and such. Uh, oh crap, they're gonna kill me. No, 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 just run away. Run away. Uh, try doing a low-carb diet. Like, that's... That's the one I've been doing for the last better part of a year. I do not want to restart this fight. Uh, I would recommend that one for a number of reasons because it still allows you to eat a lot of really good foods. Like, obviously, eating, you know, going vegetarian or vegan is going to have a lot of health benefits. But not a lot of people want to do that. Because where's the fun in life if you can't eat meat? I needed that badly. I need to heal up a bit. So, with the low carb diet, it basically means uh, non fried meats are fine. Meaning, like, uh, grilled chicken steak, 
uh, ground beef, bacon is all fine, which works very well for me. Because I'm fine with, you know, not eating the bun off the burger or whatever. I mean, I don't care. I got you now, buddy. I'm following you. Oh, crap. Uh, let's do this for safety. So, yeah, that's all fine. And then, uh... Obviously, fruits and vegetables are fine, but I can't really eat fruit because you know, the acidity messes up my stomach. Profile when you fight. It's just smarter. But Cade's ghost was just like him. Uh... She cocky. Fish would be fine, but that's meat. She didn't deserve to go down. Hey, we did it! Six names off our list. Only two left. Nice! Man, he was a lot easier than the last one. Lead on the machinist and the fanatic for us. Not a whole lot of ads in the in the boss fight. So you can eat all of that, uh The main problems are, you know, you can't eat, like, pizza and pasta, or you're not supposed to. Alright, we're up to 473. Awesome. We got a pulse rifle now, which is good. So yeah, you're not supposed to eat pizza or pasta, which is kind of unfortunate because those are both foods I enjoy. I mean, though, technically with pizza, you can just scrape the tops off of each slice of pizza and eat it that way. It's not like 100% carb-free by any means. Ah, uh, cheese is fine. Cheese is good. Cream is the same way, very, very low on carbs. Uh, milk is not recommended because it's fairly hot. It's got, like, a decent number of carbs per serving. I mean, milk has other health benefits, though. Uh, diet soda's fine. I mean, if you consider it to be healthy enough to be considered fine, which it certainly isn't. Look at you. <laughs> Enhancement core. Prince. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm afraid of you. I should be. Six down. Head towards Sork's Cut. Okay. Oh, I think I can trade in things with you, right? Pay for a favor. Oh, wow, those are all completely useless. They just give me glimmer that I don't even need. Okay, so I can trade these for legendary shards. Okay. I approve. And then retrade the legendary shards for other stuff. So, 5,000 glimmer for simulation seeds. Okay. 5,000 for data lice, 5,000 for sephirite, phase glass, more enhancement cores if I want them, cool, cool. I do enjoy your visit. Greetings, my elegant friend. Alright guys, we're going on two hours and I'm getting a little bit tired. Business improves daily. I am so, I think that's going to be it for tonight. I think I'm just going to go ahead and call tonight. Be playing a little bit more on my own of this or something else. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I will not be streaming for the next week. So until, like, after the 12th or so, actually, I can look at the calendar right here on my computer.
Yeah, I get back on the 13th. So the next stream will probably be around Wednesday the 17th. I will have videos that go up while I'm gone, though. Ah, uh, some trophy videos. Nothing too special, but at least have a few of those go up. So I probably won't be answering too much on Twitter and PSN or anything, but uh, I will be vlogging while I'm gone. So I'll have some videos to show off to you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and see you remotely this coming week, and in person again in a week and a half.